I've been on the hunt trying to find something worse than the stuff I already reviewed, and it's been a long journey, but finally I came across Blood, Sweat, and Lies. This is the laziest movie I've ever seen. I think the studio just needed more money, so they came up with this in like 5 minutes. It stars Melissa, who is the usual skeptical, serious face protagonist we get. We start off with one of the heaviest and most emotional domestic scenes I've ever seen. Sorry if you weren't expecting to cry today. Also, my neighbors are playing like bongos or something in their backyard, so... Yeah, you might hear that sound throughout the video. Fancy pants... <laughs> 10 out of 10 already, just just give him the Grammy, the Oscar, whatever the fuck. <laughs> nice to get your hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Open. Oh. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a rock. Oh, it's a tiny piece of the Alps. I'm gonna take you there on a trip next month or uh, whenever, but there's this incredible climb. It's. Why does your face look like that? I'm. Um, what? I, I. What? I thought you were going to propose. Mel. What? I'm bored. Huh. You're bored? Because you've never given me any indication that this is going anywhere. Maybe you're right. Maybe this isn't going anywhere. What? No, I, I can't do this. So they obviously break up because that fight was very intense and now she's a mess. And you look amazing in these photos. So beautiful, you're strong, purposeful. Oh my god, the scene makes me want to die. Okay, we'll go to the next scene. She goes to the gym because she wants to work out. So fun, right? You doing okay, Mel? Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. How did you know my name? I, uh, I saw your name on the guest list when your friend signed you in. Oh, right. Right. I'm Trey. I'm one of the trainers here. Right. Nice to meet you. You too. Can I offer you a free session? There's no strings attached, I promise. Uh, I don't know. No pressure. That's it. Congratulations, Miss Barrett. You are officially a card-carrying gym member. <laughs> so she meets this dude at her job at an art gallery, which is a very common lifetime job, and um, he's even more creepy than the gym trainer was somehow. It's moving forward, okay? Let me uh, grab a quick picture. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a it's a progress photo. All that before and after nonsense. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Are you going to post it? I keep them in a photo album, in a bin, in my desk. No one's ever gonna see them. Except him in the night. <laughs> okay. Great. Easy. What about your fitness goals? You got any? Ever since I was a little girl, I've wanted to do a pull-up without any help. Unassisted? Yes, but, but then where you push yourself all the way up so you're completely upright. A muscle-up. It's a very epic move. So now she has a goal. Cool. So right now the interest the viewer has in this movie is you want to see this emotionless lady's love life or you want to see her do a pull-up. Very compelling stuff, guys. Hi, Trey. So, I scouted out some of the local talent for you. What do you think about that guy? I think his name is Mark, and he's in marketing or something. <clears throat> oh, Mark in marketing? A what? Like, Trey and training? <laughs> I think you should ask him out. Um... I'm here to work. That's my girl. Let me just do you a favor and sift through all the bullshit. This movie is just like 90% filler, so here we go. So she's all like, my boyfriend got me a rock and wanted me to climb the Alps and I'm afraid of heights. And then he's like, uh, I got an idea. And he's all like, you can do this, Melissa, like 50 times he says it. And then she's all like, I can't do this. And then her friend comes and she's all like, she can't do this. And then she does it. Good job, Mel, you did it. 
I've been afraid of heights my entire life, and I just did something about it. In the most dangerous way possible. Trey knew I could do it. He believed in me. Why can't you? No one believes in you. More than I do, okay? You're my best friend. I love you. So this dude comes back to the art gallery. They met once before and he asks her out and she accepts. Like that's all Trey had to do. This, this story could have been really short, but let's keep going. So she goes on a date with him. He has no emotions and he constantly looks serious. So they're a perfect match for each other. About five years. He thought my favorite color was blue. Mm. Purple, right? Yeah, you've worn a little piece of it with every outfit I've seen you in so far. He gets her favorite color right, and then it just goes on from there. He scored, he won, they bang. Oh yeah, and Trey's stalking them. Yeah. Come on, tired girl. What, late night? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go with this one. I'm stalking you. Oh my god, dog. I know you're joking, but that tone and facial expression is telling me otherwise. I could bring you takeout. <laughs> well, I can't. Training diet. I can cook for you. Something healthy. You gotta eat. Okay. I mean, it might be late. Perfect. How'd you learn how to do that? So then they bang again, and Trey is watching her heart rate rise, which is hilarious, and honestly the most clever thing about this movie. But, I mean, it could be anything. She could be angry. She could have fell. She could be watching a horror movie. She doesn't necessarily have to be banging, but, you know, suspension, disbelief, whatever the fuck. He's like, he's like nobody I've ever met before. Okay, we're gonna pick up the pace. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay. There we go. And he, he cooks? He's an amazing cook. Oh, amazing. Okay. Fuck! Why does he have to be an amazing cook? You mind putting this in the cubby for me? Of course not. I'll be out in the field. Thanks. You're welcome. This is like a PSA on why you need a passcode for your phone. Oh my god. So she wants to take a break from the gym, and this happens. It. I need a break. Let me out, Trey. No. I can't let you do that, okay? He ends up letting her do that, and then she goes to her art gallery and finds it destroyed. This exact scenario happened in the last one. They're, they're running out of scenarios, guys. Did you ever think that could happen? Yeah, actually, I'm not surprised. This has to be a joke. They really called him Lunch Tray. This is the worst supervillain origin story ever. So she goes back to the gym to find all her friends tied up and stuff. And she calls 911 and this might get you a little mad. Cause you got me a little mad. Yes. Yes, I need an ambulance. Right in the police. Confirm your location. Oh, yes, I'm at that. Ma'am, hello? Are you there? Hello? Yeah, they, they really did that. They really did that in this movie. That's like the most frustrating thing ever. We have to be alone. Never! <gasps> What the fuck? I know it's supposed to be this huge payoff that she can finally do the muscle up, but it looks so dumb now. Why are you hiding from me, Mel? Oh my god, she's not even hiding. Do you even have peripheral vision? Not make this very easy. 
far from me now. So yeah, she saves the day, that's all. The more Lifetime movies I watch, the worse they are. Eventually these movies are just gonna be the tropes themselves and nothing else. Let me let me show you what a Lifetime movie will be like in 2020. I am Sarah. I like art and am so special. I am man. Sarah, would you like to go on date? No. Uh, would you like to go on date? Okay, let's go. Hey, slightly less attractive friend who just wants the best for me and turns out to be right in the end. Man is a little weird. He plays with his feet a lot. I think you should stay away from him. Okay. I love you, man. Hey, Sarah, give me feet. No. Police, hands up. No. I know. I know. Give me the Grammy. Give me the Grammy. That's it. I did it. I won. See ya. Bitch.